Today we're going to look at the first law of thermodynamics. Now that uh, actually comes in a in an equation E equals MC squared. If you look at some movies and so on you might see it on chalkboards with scientists uh, writing various equations on a chalkboard. But what exactly does it mean? Well it actually means energy is equal to the amount of mass times the speed of light squared. And you don't really need to know what that means, but uh, it essentially means that matter can be changed to energy and vice versa. In fact, that's what led to the nuclear weapons and nuclear power is when they realized that matter could actually be changed into energy. But it also means that there's exactly as much energy slash matter now as there were ages ago. But there is less available every second. And of course that makes sense if you have, let's say, matter, let's say from our sun in the form of hydrogen and it is uh, releasing energy all the time as it, as it burns up then the energy dissipates. Okay, it doesn't mean it disappears, but it dissipates to the point where uh, eventually it is so spread out you don't even know it's there. That's why uh, we get a, a certain amount of heat from the sun, but the further out you go to different planets, it's going to get colder and colder unless there's uh, nuclear energy being produced on that planet or something. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If we could rewind the clock, and we could actually go back in time, if we could go back far enough, we would come to a point where all of the energy and the matter in the universe began. Now, for those who believe in the Big Bang theory, then what that would mean is that everything all the, this uh, supposed big explosion would go back to that point in time but eventually you'd get to a point where you have a beginning. Now that causes a huge problem for evolutionists. Because with evolution if you have a beginning what happens if you go back before the beginning? Before that time, there would be nothing. Now, how do evolutionist scientists explain everything before this beginning point? Okay, and, and essentially what they're saying is that all of the matter, energy, everything came from nothing because that's what would be there before that time. And I know that this might be hard for us to comprehend, but it does mean there was a beginning point and of course this totally eliminates evolution as having any possibility. And the way to ask the question is how did everything come from nothing? For more information go to evosecrets.com